funding is, is, is an issue, then the near, 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 nearly there is no basic infrastructure. We expect that the macrofinance bank to go to the rural areas so that we can reduce the number of unbanked. From the from the rural area, we, we there's no there's no infrastructure in place, no good road, no power, and at the same time we are all operating in the same ecosystem, such that macro, macro finance bank is the same electricity that they want to pay compared to the other bigger organisations. So when there is an issue with infrastructure, then there is issue. Another major issue is the consistent. Uh, 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 government policy won't come in today because you have the three tiers of government. Federal government is giving this policy, the state is giving, then the local government is also giving. All these are affecting this, the emergency of this, the, the, the survivor of this uh, in industry. So those are the major issues bordering on the, on the funding, on the government policies, on the infrastructures, both social and, and, and financial. Now you talked about um, the BVN. Uh, what are you doing as an association to actually push for this BVN thing to be applied in microfinance banking? Yeah, we have approached, we've had, approached, we had a meeting with Central Bank of Nigeria and we came up with some, uh, some uh, suggestions. I believe that Central Bank is working on that. We give them an option of how BVN can be done in this subsector because really, if you look at it, most of the commercial banks that have done the enrollment, as we speak, those machines are just lying like an artifact in their various offices. And I don't think the cost, the macrofinance bank can bear the cost. And as such, so we, we align with the central bank to see whether this um, BVN can be taken from the current, the grant component of the MSME DF. We've approached them, the director of uh, development finance has been appointed to work on, on that. So we are working with CBN to ensure that uh, we have a BVN in this system and I believe in no time we will have this done. Now talking about financing, uh, recently the federal government approved uh, the Development Bank of Nigeria. Now how does the microfinance, or how do the microfinance banks hope to work with um, this uh, Development Bank of Nigeria in terms of uh, having them financed properly? Well, good. It's a welcome development from the federal government, and we must give thanks to, though it's long overdue, because considering the figures we have about the components of MSME, uh, MSME constituting, uh, giving about 48.47% of the total GDP in this country today, so that sec subsector needs to be looked into. So, but we, well, it is better late than never. We, we have it, and it is highly funded because it's about $1.3 billion uh, and funded in a various form. So, it's a welcome development and is meant to lend to the MSME through the Macrofinance Bank. And I think this is going to bring out about trust and uh, funding for the macrofinance bank. So what we intend to work with, with them is that they need to look at the corporate governance of all the MSMEs, and then the MSME DF is a criteria. For those who have assessed the MSME DF can easily also, because they are a criteria from the CBN, so this can also be taken. And then the sector is also suffering from rating. So I think with D, uh, DBN coming in place, there should be a rating so that our in institutions can be rated and then it will be easy for them to learn. And I believe that if we can make it more sustainable, and I'm, when I mean the, the sustainability aspect of it, is the saving component that we should ensure that the macrofinance bank have so that we can sustain this fund. It's, I think it's a, it's, it's a welcome development and I think the macrofinance bank will be willing to work with, uh, with the DBA. Now, what's the disbursement level of the MSME DF? That's about um, 220 billion naira. Yeah. What's the level of disbursement? Well, the disbursement as at uh, Friday is 103 billion. But however, to this, the, the macrofinance uh, banks, is just one, poultry 1.8.6 eh, billion. And for you, that's not good enough? Uh, it's, it's, it's not good enough comp it's because if we are to have about 65 to 70 percent of the total uh, 220 billion, we should be talking about 140 something billion. And 8.6 to 140 something billion is, 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 is nothing. And I believe even in the, the 8.6 billion that we're talking about, most of the macrofinance bank have uh, repaid this loan and are waiting the second tranche from the CBN. The, the files are also, also still there. Then the anchor borrower, which is more on the Greek, took about 29.6 billion out of it and the rest i believe the state government that have taken but i believe that the 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 the, the take the uptake so far is uh, is is low compared to what we want to achieve 
uh, in, in that in that uh, space. Yeah. So what what would you have to say about the country's compliance um, level in financial inclusion? Well, I think um, going by the last uh, statistics from FINA, we the the as at 2008 when it started is about 58.52.5 percent um, uh, uh, financial uh, ex exclusion, and as we speak now, we have about. Uh, uh, it has grown by about 10 point something percent so far for about eight to nine years, and we're having a target of about 20 in year 2020. So as it is, I think we are still having 58.5 being financially served and 41.6 uh, uh, financially ex ex excluded. As uh, that is the current position from the F F FINA sources from FINA. All right, so what is the future of microfinance in Nigeria? Oh, the future, I see a bright uh, uh, microfinance bank in this country provided all these necessary things, uh, the financial infrastructure, things like national collateral registry is working where people can assess loan. I see it as the, what, the economy development that can transform this economy com, com, uh, based on the number of percentage that they are, uh, the, the, the micro takes from the MSME, and I also see it as it's a, a game changer for this uh, something. With the introduction of the DBN, I believe we begin to see more impact from the, uh, from the subsector, and with, I just advise my members to ensure that the corporate governance is taking properly the way it is. Yeah, and for you as an association, what basically is your role in driving microfinance banking in Nigeria? Our roles as an association is embedded in the five pillars establishing the, the, the association, the NAM, and that is policy advocacy. We drive for policy. We train our people on capacity building, and we network with organizations, including the press, to drive home our message. And then finally, we, 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 we intend to be self-regulated in the in year 2018. So right. that is what we do as, as an association. All right. Thank you very much, uh, Mr. Valentine, for... Mr. Wensu, for Thank coming you. on our show. I was Valentine Wensu, the National President Association of Microfinance Banks. We'll take a quick break. When we return, we'll look at the pre-market open analysis. Do stay with us.